Hello students, welcome to online classes for the first year students of Kapte Graduates Junior College Narsampay. Now, today, class number 10, already in class number 9, so we discussed about the topic of so translation of access or change of access, trans transformation of access. Yeah, these are the, some examples of uh, so translation of access. Yes, first one. When the origin is shifted to 3 comma 4, then find the new coordinates of minus 2 comma 5. Yes, students. In this, so translation of axis, because it is the translation of axis. Because this translation of axis means here, without changing the direction of the coordinate axis, the origin shifted to the another point. Yes. The origin is shifted to the point 3, comma 4. Students, here whenever the origin shifted to the another fixed point, we consider this point as x1, comma y1. Yes, in this given that, in this given that, here we identify the given point coordinates here. Yes, the origin is shifted to this point. The shifting point here we consider as x1, comma y1. Students, here we observe this. Whenever the origin shifted to the coordinate point, that means we consider that point as x1, comma, y1. Clear? Okay. Then, so find the new coordinates of minus 2, comma, 5. Yes, we have to find out the new coordinates of minus 2, comma, 5. Yes, our required coordinate point in the new plane. That means uh, here new plane coordinate points we consider as capital X comma capital. But the given coordinate is in the old system. Yes, here this is the old system coordinate minus two comma five. Not taking the capital X comma capital. Our required coordinate point is the new system. So to find out the new coordinates of the given point, but the given point is in which plane? The old plane. That means here the given coordinate point here small x comma small y. Yes, the required the required point the required point in the new plane that is capital x comma capital y. Yes, straight so we know this. The relation between this small x comma small y and x1 comma y1 and capital x comma capital y in this uh, so translation of axis here we know this small x is equal to capital x plus x1 yes small y is equal to capital y plus y in this relation here but we have to find out the capital x and capital y in this relation capital x we calculate in the capital x here plus x we shift into the LHS side, small x here minus x1 is equal to capital X. Yes, so students, capital X is equal to x minus x1. Similarly, here also to find out the capital Y. Yes, this plus 1 we take in, in this LHS, LHS side, y minus y1. Sorry, y1 we take in the LHS side here. Capital. Then capital Y is equal to y minus y1. Yes, students, here yeah, this is the formula for finding the capital X and capital Y. But we know this small x and x1. Here yeah, we know this small y and y1 in by the given data. Yes, capital X is equal to. So. Here yeah, we know this small x. Here yeah, small x is equal to how much? Minus 2. Yes, minus. Small x1 is equal to here 3. Yes, 3. Then capital X is equal to how much? Minus 5. Yes. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. Here from this, capital Y. Small y is equal to here 5. Yes, 5. Minus y1 is equal to 4. Yes, 4. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Yes, so students here. So, the new coordinates of uh, minus 2, comma 5. So, these are the required coordinates. Minus 5, comma 1. Yes. By the translation of axis, here translation of axis means here without changing the direction of the coordinate axis, the origin is shifted to the point 3, comma 4. Yes, to find out the coordinates of so minus 2, comma 5 in which plane, in the which system is the new system. Yes, new coordinates. Here to find out the new coordinates of minus 2, comma 5. Yes, first we will write the given coordinates here. In this origin, so shifted to the point 3, comma 4 means yes, friends. 
Yeah, or originally shifted to the some fixed point, the fixed point coordinates always we consider as x1 comma y1. Yes, to find out the new system of the given coordinate, then the given coordinate in which play the old play that means the small x comma small y. Then we have to find out the new coordinate, then the new coordinates are capital X comma capital Y. Yes, by the translation of axis, we know this is the relation. Small x is equal to capital X plus X1, small y is equal to capital Y plus Y1. Students, in this, you have to getting the capital X in this relation. Here, small x is there, here, X1 is there, here, to transfer this X1 in LHS side, here, plus X1 changes to minus X1. Yes, small x minus X1 is equal to capital X. Yes, capital X is equal to X minus X1. Yes, students, already we know this. Small x is equal to here, minus 2 minus x1 is equal to 3 yes minus 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 5 so similarly here also capital y here y minus y1 yes y is equal to 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 here these are the new coordinates of uh, the given point minus 2 comma 5 whenever the origin shifted to the point uh, 3 comma 4 so minus 2 comma 5 is the changes in the new system as uh, minus 5 comma 1 Students, so this is the second example in this uh, so transformation of axis. Yes, second ex example problem. When the origin is shifted to minus 4, comma, minus 2. Then find the old coordinate uh, point of 6, comma, 3. Yes, to find out the old coordinate point of 6, comma, 3. Yes, students, yeah, this is the translation of axis because origin shifted to the point yes whenever the origin shifted to the point uh, we consider this point coordinates as x1 comma y1 minus 4 comma 2 yes find the old coordinate of 6 comma 3 yes but to find out the old coordinates yes of the 6 comma 3 the 6 comma 3 is in the new system yes here yeah, capital X comma capital Y is equal to 6 comma 3. But our required coordinate point of old coordinate, yes, already old system coordinate point we consider small x comma small y. Yes, we will find out the small x and small y. By using this relation, small x is equal to capital X plus x1. Yes, small y is equal to capital Y plus y1. Students, in this relation, so we might find out the small x, yes, small x is there. And small y, small y is there. Yes, by small y, small x is equal to capital X. Here capital X is here, how much is x plus? Here x1 is equal to minus 4. Yes, plus or minus minus. X small x x minus 4 is equal to 2. And small y, capital Y is equal to 3. Plus y1 is equal to minus 2. Yes, small y. 3 plus of minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Yes, friends. Yes, small x is equal to 2 and small y is equal to 1. The whole system coordinate of 6 comma 3 is so small x comma small y is equal to 2 comma 1. Yes. So by using this, uh, so small x is equal to cap x plus x1, small y is equal to cap y plus y1. In this, uh, whenever the origin we shifted to the point minus 2 comma minus 4 comma minus 2, the old coordinate of 6 comma 3, so those are 2 comma 1. Yeah, this is the old system coordinate point of 6 comma 3. Okay? Okay, students. This is the third example. So, based on translation of axis, yes, by the translation of axis. So, translation of axis means without changing the direction of the coordinate axis, so the origin should be shifted to the another fixed point in that plane. Yes, here by the translation of axis, minus pi comma minus two changes as changes as 7 comma 1. This point changes as 7 comma 1. Yes, that means it is the old system coordinate point and it is the, these are the new system coordinate point. Yes, then find the origin 
shifted to the point. Then find the origin shifted to the point. Yes. Yes. In this, given that, given that. Shifted to big point. Yes. Given that old system coordinate cap point here minus y comma minus two, and the new system coordinate point cap x comma cap y yes one comma one. Then the required point, the required coordinate point. The required coordinate point x1 comma y1 origin shifted to the which point? That means the origin shifted to the point coordinates we consider is x1 comma y1. Yes, these are our required point coordinates. Yes, x1 comma y1. By the translation of axis, by the translation of translation of axis. So we have small x is equal to capital X plus x1 and the small y is equal to capital Y plus y1. In this relation to getting the x1, yes, small x capital X, x1. x minus capital X is equal to x1. Here x1 is equal to x minus capital X. Here x1 is equal to small x. Already we know this small x here, minus 5. Minus capital X is equal to 7. Yes. Here minus y minus 7 is equal to minus 12. Yes, x1 is equal to minus 12. And students, here from this relation, here we calculating the y1. Yes, y minus capital Y is equal to y1. Yes, y1 is equal to y minus capital Y. Yes, a small y is equal to here minus 2. Minus capital Y is equal to 1. Yes, y1 is equal to minus 3. Yes, so students here. Whenever, so by the translation of axis, minus 5 comma minus 2 changes as 7 comma 1, then the origin should be shifted to the coordinate point here, minus 2 comma minus 3. So, the origin should be shifted to the coordinate fixed point x1, y1 is equal to minus 2 comma minus 3. Yes, students, these are the some examples of problems based on the translation of axis. Students, in this uh, so translation of axis, so simply, so we so discuss only the relation small x comma small y small y small x comma small y capital x comma capital y and x1 y1 that is small x is equal to capital x plus x1 small y is equal to capital y plus y1 in this relation we will find out the old system coordinates and uh, or um, new system coordinate or and uh, so the origin shifted to this uh, so some fixed point uh, so by using this uh, relations uh, we can find out uh, all these uh, any one of the so three coordinates here okay